What's up guys, David here from Fun Buff and you know what time it is, it's time to test the durability of the Moto X or the Motorola X to see just how much abuse this phone could take before it actually cracks. So as always, we're going to be doing a couple of tests here. First one's going to be the key scratch test which gives you an indication as far as how well the phone will fare being put in the same pocket or purse as your keys. Second test is going to be a lot more extreme which is the knife test. Obviously this one isn't as realistic but it does give you a really good indication as far as how scratch resistant the phone is, especially along the edges in the back of the case. And third and finally we're going to be doing the hammer or the mallet slam test which tells you how much pressure the phone could handle. So for example if the phone was in the back of your pocket and you sat on it or if you accidentally stepped on it, it will tell you whether or not the phone is going to be able to handle that. So with that said, let's go ahead and start. So we'll do the least extreme out of the three tests first, which is going to be the key scratch test. So I'll go ahead and turn the display off for this so that way we can kind of see any kind of scratch marks. So I'll go ahead and start rubbing away. Now this is Gorilla Glass, so it should be able to handle, handle this pretty well. Go ahead and scratch it now. I am applying a good amount of pressure here and uh, we'll go ahead and wipe the screen really quick. Take a look. And I don't see anything, not even little scratches, which is pretty expected nowadays. I mean, I've done this test a whole bunch of time with a bunch of phones and Gorilla Glass does really well. So what's more interesting, at least to me, when it comes to the key test is how the back case is going to handle. So it doesn't sound too good. And I'm seeing some markings. And uh, let's see the damage. So you can see it almost is like peeling off a little bit right here. And... Uh, well, I'm able to brush it off, which is nice, but uh, I'm think, I think that was a protective layer there. Uh, you could see some markings there. I might be able to rub that out. Anyways, you can see, did okay. Um, not the greatest that I've seen. Uh, I could see some markings there, but no real visible damage when you look at it you know, straight on. So we'll go ahead and test finally the sides. So I just kind of scratch, whoops, wrong side. Scratch away at the sides here. Okay, so I'm seeing some markings there. Uh, let's see if we can get that on camera. Yeah, I can see the scratches actually, so I'm not sure if that's coming through on camera, but there are some very light scratch marks that definitely you know, took a toll on the size of the phone, but again, it's not visible when looking at it. So uh, we'll go ahead and do the knife test. First thing we'll start off with is gonna be the screen. Go ahead and clean it off so that we get a fresh screen to work with. All right, so go ahead and just start chopping away and again this is Gorilla Glass for the most part it does pretty well against this so let's go ahead and see how it looks and again very very little markings at all um, I don't see anything with my eye and I'm sure on camera nothing's showing up I'll go ahead and wipe it off I mean there really isn't anything to wipe but yeah so pretty good let's go ahead and do the back so this is going to be the scariest part of this test because didn't do that well against the keys. Let's go ahead and try it. All right. So again, way more scuff marks. You can actually see them right over there. And uh, definitely I could feel them, but again, it's actually, you know, it is pretty visible when you look at it right there. So you can see all those slashes going across uh, the phone. So let's go ahead and do the side. So this is typically the most challenging part for the aluminum phones because they're chamfered edges or chamfered edges but we'll go ahead and scratch away all right and oh yeah definitely can see the slash marks through the uh, casing on the side you know it doesn't do as poorly as the chamfered edges like on the iPhone or the HTC one just because it's not as visible but uh, definitely scratches relatively easily. I mean, you can see the plastic being cut through. Again, uh, the benefit is it's not visible. Uh, you know, if you just look at it from here, you're not gonna be able to see it. So if you do drop your phone from a foot or two, might not be the worst thing in the world. You might have to wipe off any residue, but uh, seems pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and now go to the granddaddy of them all, the pressure test, which is slamming this thing with this thing. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so three drops, did pretty well. Screen's still working. Uh, that's pretty expected. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying a good amount of pressure now, slamming it down. All 
All right, so you can hear how hard I'm hitting that thing. Uh, we saw a little bit of discoloration there in the screen. In fact, it's still there. Uh, let's see if we can load something. You can see it's still there. So, I mean, you know what? Yeah, so uh, you can see the screen hasn't recovered 100% yet uh, from those markings there. Go ahead and see if I can wipe that off. I mean, I don't think it's topical. I think it's actually the LCD or the uh, display itself, should I say the AMOLED display. So yeah, uh, not the best results, again, uh, that I've seen. Uh, we'll go ahead and try the back now. So do the back and see. How it handles, it handles that. We see some uh, transfer from the uh, mallet, some residue. I'll probably wipe that off, uh, maybe with some water or moisture, but Screen is still working, so that's the good news. Uh, that discoloration, you know, that I was talking about, I'm not sure if that's even showing up, you know, 100%, but so you can see it right there, right there. You can see uh, when we have the white background, it, it's just a little bit, you know, sometimes it takes a while, so we'll see throughout the rest of this test if that handles or if that fixes itself. But for the final test here, we're gonna test the side bezels because this one has extremely thin side bezel, so if you're to drop on the side, uh, this kind of gives you an idea as far as how it'll do. So let's go ahead and try it. All right, I think that's enough abuse for one day. Um, did pretty well. I mean, it's able to handle the hits and the impact on the sides. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. You guys can see, I mean, the back, I mean, okay, I'll tell you the truth. It wasn't the best uh, durability test that I've seen. Uh, I've seen better from different phones like the iPhone 5, uh, the Lumia 920 especially, but you know, for the most part, thankfully it isn't that visible as far as the scratches go on the back, but they're definitely there. Uh, the sides took a pretty big toll uh, from the knife and uh, the screen still, you know, has a little bit of discoloration there going, but you know, you know what, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and uh, I'll let you guys know when uh, or if the screen actually resolves or the issue gets fixed. But anyways, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more mobile technology videos just like this. Thank you for watching.